वेलकम बैक टेक नगट्स दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ एस्टिफाई मोंगो डी बी क्रॉड ऑपरेशन वीडियो इन पार्ट वन वी आर सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑफ एस्टिफाई एंड बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड ऑल्सो द बेसिक हलो एप हलो राउट विद एस्टिफाई इन पार्ट टू वी विल सी द प्रोडक्ट क्रड ऑपरेशन एंड ऑल्सो स्वैगर ए पी डॉक्यूमेंटेशन बिफोर आई गेट इन टू दिस वीडियो दिस अ क्विक चैनल एनालिटिक्स there are 1.1k view happened in last 28 days in this channel however there are only 4 subscribers for the views so far happened thank you for your support however on the subscriber it is very very low in this channel so far there are only 36 subscribers out of it 4 is in last 28 days um the the channel received almost like a 3.5k view so to out of this total view there is only fractional percentage only the actual subscribers for example there is only 9.9 percent .9 viewers or subscribers there is a 90.1 percent of viewers are not non-subscribers i want your support in getting subscription more out of this at least 10 to 20 percent of the subscriber uh, from non-subscriber to subscriber please subscribe if you have not subscribed please scroll down and hit the subscribe button like it share it comment it okay so let us dive into part two of astify mongodb crowd operation okay so now let's dive into the actual operations right in order to do that first thing what we will do is we need to define mongodb connection i will be using my local uh, mongodb so make sure you have a local installation or you can have a docker version anything whichever you have it so anything on local i have you can watch one of my mongodb install video uh, let's put mongodb connection code in this make this do this okay in order to type so first thing is you require mongos and uh, connection mongodb mongodb is the local host and products is my db okay um then this is a local string and then connection and if there is an error it will display once you have the uh, mongodb connection the next thing what we require is uh, the schema so for this demo i'll be using something called product which contains uh, contains uh, product id name description price category let's compile that model um, as i mentioned earlier so i'm going to write everything in a single fat file it's like a poc you can just put everything in a single file and run it once everything is fine then you can beautify the code and move this file into respective routers controllers and models okay let's uh, do this I am going to add model. It's a product model, as I mentioned. It's a product schema with the PID, name, description, price, and category. Finally, I compile that product with the schema, and the product is my collection name. In uh, my MongoDB, I have created a database called products. That is the first one here and this is the collection name okay maybe I can write here as product collection Mongo and here product database Mongo. 
and just to show you what I'm talking about I am using a MongoDB compass you can see my collection the product you can see there is some the product my collection and there are some of my default records are right so let's uh, try to write a code to retrieve this and do the CRUD operation on this MongoDB collection. Okay. So we have done this. The next thing is we need a router. One is to get all the products. Other one is to get a, usually you have a REST um, APIs where uh, it says get update delete put or patch or post okay now let's write you gets Okay, so what we have done is um, it's a get method, fastify dot get, and uh, the URL is slash products. In the request, um, I'm using collection dot find. Lean is uh, optimized for memory. I'm selecting feed name, description, price, category, and result, giving the result. Okay, and the next method is getting an individual product. Uh, it's called product slash PID for the PID I am selecting this so in order to test this one is first thing you save this then we need to create a new file called uh, test.http okay so in that what you have to do is um the triple hash get all products command is something like get local host 3000 products and uh, http dash 1.1 okay so how do we run this voila so you are able to see that uh, your first thing http 200 code okay and the response on all the records whatever you have seen there you are able to see it the next thing is I wanted to get a individual product. So how do I do that? Copy this request signature products slash one. Say one or two whatever. The product PID. Okay. So in order to check this are able to see this one particular product say okay, i'll make it to two two congratulations so you have done it let's see the next step okay um we have done uh, get now we have to do post put and delete commands okay so we have done uh, read you have to do update and creation of the new product delete also we have to do let's see that how do we do it okay so this is a lengthy coding method so it
I'll explain this methods. So we have done get. Now it's a post to create a new product. What all we are doing? Uh, as usual, request response with the cat arrow body uh, of that function. We want to read uh, product ID name price from the request body description category and assigning to a prod one as a product schema. I will compile back to this object. Then I am calling product dot save. Okay, this is for creation of a new product. So how do we test this? Let's to go back to this. Let's create a product. In order to do this, need this is similar to curl command. However, you you can use any of your REST client. However, this is easy to do it in the same place. This is add product. Okay. So what we have uh, the body as application JSON, and say product ID is eight something with the eight. Let's run this. Because we have not saved the file. Save it. The route is ready. Let's go back. Okay, we are done. 88. I am just returning as is. However, the ID is the one from MongoDB it's created. Okay. So if you want to see that. And bring my TV compost something called PAD8 product 8 description 8. This is the object which we have just now created, and uh, this is the ID UID or the object ID created from MongoDB. Let's uh, the part so we have created. Next thing which we have to test was the post update of this okay so update is a put classify dot put what we, what we need to update a method update and update a product so we need a definitely we need a product id and my update is going to happen on name and description okay so how am i doing that so i'll create a filter there are multiple ways to do but i am done this way uh, filter is my pid based on the product id i filter the object update name and description that's what i am doing find one and update filter update new true that means it's going to update error if there is error this is a function default one and the response product id the id whichever you gave updated successfully let's uh, test this again let's go back to our test client okay so you you see here it's a post for creation this is put for updating a product and as i mentioned you have to give three parameters eight that's a product ID 8 and the um, values what you want to update it. So before I update, we can see the value what we have, right? For example, here 8 and it's called description and product ID. That's all we have. Now let's go back and click on update this. Product ID 8 updated success. That's a message I'm returning from the code. Now go back and get the entire result. You should see something with the updated. Updated. Very good. Now the final method what we have to check is delete method. For so in order to delete, we need only the product ID. Then we just delete that or remove from the collection how do we do that 
already we have written here so fastify dot delete delete is your http method you can find one and remove that's your mongoose method okay so mongoose is a worm it uses between your node.js object and your mongodb go back and test this method also okay so this is whatever we created eight a new object let's delete it okay so let's remove it product id 8 removed successful wondered okay now go back first with this let's see only four not that eight. we'll verify that from here i have not refreshed eight is there refresh eighth one should go you will get only four very good so we have we have covered all the methods that is get post put delete that's entire rest basic rest we have covered okay so one more thing um uh, this is one way to test other way if you want to explore this um api usually we have this uh, documentation part so how do you enable swagger on this so we need to as i mentioned that is a plugin you need to register the plugin to enable it okay go back add it register here so fastify dot register require fastify swagger so expose route true or uh, the prefix what we wanted to give us docs and the title of that uh, docs will start with product fastify dot api okay let us test that some um, slash docs okay let's bring here it is not found again please save it don't forget to save is coming up excellent so we have got all the get methods you can explore try it everything you can do it from here okay products get get delete awesome so we have done the basic thread also we enable swagger we verified we tested with mongodb so that's all about uh, today's video thank you for your time if you like a video um like it share it comment it most importantly subscribe it um so that it'll encourage me to make more video okay thank you very much and follow me on twitter for any latest updates